Um, hello, everybody. Thank you guys so much for, for having me here. Um, really love working with both ASF and WJC, so happy when my friends are friends. Um, my name is Julia Jassy. Um, like Jason said, I am the CEO and co-founder of Jewish on Campus. Um, also Sephardic Jew, half Sephardic, half Ashkenazi, like some folks before me, which means that I got good food and lactose intolerance. Um, <laughs> but I am really, um, I wish under better circumstances speaking with you guys today, um, but, but happy to be here. Um, my job centers around anti-Semitism on college campuses, so as you can imagine, tough time to do that. Um, since October 7th, Jews around the world have watched in horror as parents, grandparents, cousins, children, and friends have been murdered, mutilated, and assaulted, and the largest mass killing of Jews since the Holocaust. Um, as we're bearing witness to the horror that our people are facing in Israel, we also are watching in horror as campuses um, fill with peers, professors, not only condoning these actions, but celebrating them. Um, posters of civilians have taken hostage, have been torn down. The harrowing events of October 7th, the events which resulted in the brutal murder of over a thousand Israeli civilians, have been called creative and resistance on campuses across the US. Um, Anti-Semitic remarks have been shouted at students across the country. Um, and meanwhile, hostages remain in captivity. Um, and we fear for um, our family, our cousins, our, our people who are on the ground now. And I understand that very personally with cousins today who have called up from reserves. I mean, something that we all are so deeply impacted by. Um, for a lot of folks in the country, a big question that they've had is, where are American Jews? Why are we so impacted by this? We're not in Israel. We're not living there right now. Why is this affecting us? Why should we care? When anti-Semitism anti is masked um, as criticism of Israel, or not just criticism of Israel, I should say, um, demonization of Israelis, demonization of Zionists as a, as a projection of anti-Semitic tropes, why should we care as Americans? And it's because for all of us, Jewish identity means something more than just a religion. It's an ethnicity, it's a culture, it's a peoplehood that we get to be a part of. And for a lot of folks here, and myself included, Israel is the reason why we exist. Israel is the reason why we're alive today. Um, for my family, um, my mom's family from Spain, from Iraq, from Yemen, we wouldn't be alive today. Jews don't really live in those countries anymore. Spain now, yes, but Iraq and Yemen, Jews don't live there anymore, and it's because we can't. And so for my family, I wouldn't be standing here if it weren't for Israel. Um, and when we're seeing protests around the country calling for the annihilation of the state of Israel, um, home to seven million Jews who had nowhere else to go, it's not just a call to harm those of our family members who are there, which would be bad enough. It's a call to harm ourselves. Um, it's not legitimate advocacy for human rights, nor is it a political debate, nor does it do anything to resolve the suffering of Palestinians, the people who didn't ask for war, who are suffering greatly, and who deserve meaningful advocacy. Um, throughout history, violence against Jews has been justified, masked under different names. Today, violence against Jews has become normalized and glorified once again on college campuses, online, and even here in New York. We need to understand the value that our community has to offer. Yes, we're all targeted together. Yes, we're all suffering together. I, I knew it was bad when I called my cousins over in Israel and they asked how I'm doing in New York. I'm like, guys, you have way bigger things to worry about than how I'm doing in New York. Yes, we're attacked as a community, but yes, we survive as a community. We work together to build bridges, to hope for a better future where we can be speaking under better circumstances, where we can share our culture, like many of those have mentioned before me, with our neighbors, with our friends, where we can imagine a peaceful future um, of coexistence um, and of better. Um, but that doesn't happen without fully understanding our history and finding ways to uplift that in meaningful ways and to share that in meaningful ways. And something that I think is such an important part of ways to use different avenues like social media for young folks um, and opportunities to share our stories, share our histories, and to teach people who probably have never met a Jew before um, an opportunity to be the first person that they get to hear this history from. So I'm really honored to be here today to speak to you guys, honored to be a part of the work that ASF has done, um, and honored to you know share a small piece of my story and a piece of this work, um, and to join you guys in hope for a better future. <laughs> 